Hey, good morning everybody. This is Steve Clutch and today I want to show you a really easy way to send out your purchase contracts. Um, one of my good buddies, Noah, just sent me a message um, asking the best way to send offers or how to automate it. Um, so I figured I'd show you guys the way that I'm doing it right now. Um, I use Google Docs a lot. You guys already know that. Um, so I do the same thing with these purchase contracts. Um, this is just part of the form. This isn't the whole contract that we use. But to illustrate the, the way that we do it is we have a blank uh, template inside of Google Docs. Uh, I recommend, you know, in a, in a Word, um, Word format is the easiest to manipulate or to edit. If you have it in a PDF form, uh, there's ways to convert it, but you want to get into, into Word, okay? Um, if you're not sure how to upload a Word file into Google Docs, it's very easy. You simply go to drive.google, go to new, file upload, double click on the, the contract, and then it will upload, okay? And then I would simply, let me see if I can do this from the right click, no. So I click on it to open it, and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say open with Google Docs. And it will convert it into a Google, um, to the Google format, which you can th then download as whatever you want, okay? So there it is. Okay. So let's go back to our template here. Okay. So we have a few things that, that change. Um, some of them don't change a lot, right? So today's date, if I'm sending multiple offers in one day, I actually only need to set this once, right? Okay, company name used to do that once. Property address is going to change uh, for each contract. However, city and state most likely won't, right? And zip code will sometimes stay the same as well. Okay, so you're most of the time I'm sending out a contract. I'm only editing uh, the date, the address, and then the amount down here, uh, the purchase price. Okay, so once I have this um, changed the way that I want it with the the seller's address. Uh, the dollar amount we're going to pay for it and you know make sure the, the zip code and the city state are correct is what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to file and then i'm going to download as and i'm going to download as a pdf document now the reason i'm i want this uh, when i send it to the seller in pdf is so that it is harder to edit um because sometimes you don't want what you don't want is them to be sending offers back with edits that you were not aware were there right uh, so sometimes we'll get a contract with lines crossed out or, you know, a uh, realtor sometimes will cross something out and initial it or add something. It's very obvious when that happens, you know, but if they go in and change in the Word document, then that might slip by you. Um, so I'm going to download and send this as a PDF. Okay, so I'll click on that. And then I have a folder here of properties or these are other contracts that I've sent out. Uh, so simply what I do is I just put the street um, address right and then I um, and then that's it and then I save it as there as a PDF okay or I can do it and see so it'll download as a PDF here and then we can open it up email it out whatever we want to do right so that's the way that I um, I send out my purchase contracts it's very easy and then you you only need one Google Doc uh, in your space because you just keep fine you just edit it and then file download your PDF that you'll work from okay so you don't need multiple uh, contracts in your Google Docs you can put them all on in PDF form and then upload them later for storage or just save them on your hard drive. But that's a really, really easy way to uh, send out your, your purchase contracts. I uh, hope that's, this helps you guys. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people still subscribing and watching the videos, uh, even though I haven't posted anything in a while. Uh, so I will be posting some more stuff uh, in the future. So just keep an eye on the channel and we're going to start seeing some more, more content coming out. I appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.